now we will discuss the meaning of protocols and also try to understand the difference between http and https now the first question before us is protocols let us understand the meaning of protocols in routine what we understand from the protocols whenever the president of the country visits a particular city or state what happens you have seen the same in the local media in tv or newspapers you see that whenever the president arrives in the city or state he is welcomed by the head of the city or the state which may be the governor or the mayor of the city as well as other political other police authorities head or the other heads of the city or state arrive at the airport or railway station or other place wherever the president comes this is the rules or the acceptable behavior with what is expected from the normal city or state level authorities whenever the higher authorities come now we come to the networking in the networking also protocols means the rules and guidelines that help or govern communication between computers on a network suppose there are two persons one is from china another is from japan this person speaks chinese he is speak knows his only japanese language if they want to communicate with one another whether they will be able to communicate no there has to be some other language or the third language which both these persons whether he is chinese or japanese both these persons can understand the the language has to be the third language which may be english or some other language in the same way network protocols are like a common language for computers which each computer can understand that is all the computers on the network can understand a particular language and it this is the protocols the computers within a network may use vastly different software and hardware it is quite possible that we are using suppose apple computer you are using lenovo's computer or there may be some other person who is having some other type of mobile say oppo or other however the use of protocols enables them to communicate with one another whenever we send email from our mobile or our laptop to some other person who may be using some other type or other brand of mobile or laptop it does not has no relevance so far as the other person will be able to read the email there is no relevance of hardware it is only because of the protocols the other person is able to understand what you have sent to him the protocols are vital to your networking activity and fortunately for you you do not need to manage install or even think about them it means that though we are using hardware our computers or other devices to to send emails to talk to other person on whatsapp facebook or send videos we have no concern about the protocols we do we do not have to think about the protocols these protocols are built into the networking software on your computers this aspect of protocols is taken care of by the companies themselves who are selling the products to you computers or mobiles to you these protocols 
allow your computer or other devices to link up to networks everywhere so that you can show up, read news, send email and more. So these are the protocols only which help these computer or other devices to communicate with one another so that you are in a position to send emails or do online shopping or whatever purpose for which you use the computers or mobiles. Now another question before us is what is the meaning of internet protocol? Internet protocol is a protocol by which data is sent from one computer to another on the internet. IP internet protocol is a protocol or set of rules for addressing and routing packets of data so that they can travel across networks and arrive at the correct destination. As already told, internet protocol takes care of the address part of the data. It in IP protocol ensures that the data reaches at the correct destination. Now the data may have to follow different routes as already discussed. Each computer known as host on the internet has at least one IP address that uniquely identifies it from all the other computers on the internet. It means that we may be using any device, any brand of computer or laptop or other device. Each type of these devices have their own IP address and from that we can identify a particular device. When you send or receive data, for example, an email or web page across the internet, the data or message gets divided into smaller pieces called packets. IP information is attached to each packet and this information helps routers to send packets into the right place. As already told, whenever the data is broken into small pieces, it travels from different routes. Some follow this route, others may follow this route. There may be some other which may follow this route. And at the final destination, all these small packets are again reassembled by the TCP and original whole data is formed. It is only the IP which ensures that the small packets of data reach the correct destination. Now what are the different kinds of web protocols? These are HTTP, HTTP means Hypertext Transfer Protocol, then another is FTP, File Transfer Protocol, then Electronic Mail using SMTP, POP, IMAP, we will discuss all these in the coming lectures, SMTP, Telnet, without having protocol. It means without following the rules or guidelines, it won't be possible to transfer data from one point to another. However, as already told, we need not bother about these rules. These are taken care of by the companies who sell us the devices. It is inbuilt in the software system. All these protocols are built in, inbuilt in the software. Now the point before us is HTTP. What is HTTP? HTTP is the protocol or the set of rules for transferring hypertext on the world wide web. HTTP is a set of strict communication rules so that both the client and server understand each other. The hypertext means files such as text, images, video and multimedia files. HTTP uses port number 80. It is a request response protocol. The message sent by the client, typically a web browser is the request while the message sent by the server is an answer. 
is the response post this is the pc this is the server we this is the client request is made by the client was we are using the internet and we are want to search a particular news we make a request through the internet to the server and this will be regarded as request and the server will give us the response now what is https hyper text transfer protocol secure here we see that http ss is additional https stands for http secure it is highly advanced and secure version of http it is the combination of http with ssl ssl stands for secure socket layer https is a secure method of accessing or sending information across a web page http is used for transferring data between the cloud client browser and the web server in the hypertext format that is in case of http request is made by the client and the response is given by the server the same happens also in the case of https but in the case of https transferring of data is done in encrypted form suppose in case of http we send the data 1234 here the client sends to the server 1234 now this data travels as it is 1234 but when https being used here it will be sent in an encrypted form say it may be like this a 1 2 b that is the data will be converted into the encrypted format so that any person who may be the hacker or the intruder may not understand the data while it is in transit this prevents anyone from understanding that information if intercepted in between because data is encrypted over https it is slower than http because in case of https data is encrypted so there is some time which is consumed in encryption of the data so https slower than http we have discussed that http uses port number 80 whereas https uses port number 443 for data communication https allows secure e-commerce transactions such as online banking in other words we can say that for those transactions which are to be considered as confidential or which we want to secure properly for in that case https is being used here we can see that https when added with secure socket layer becomes https http defines how hypertext that is messages are transmitted between web browser and web server and ssl that is the secure socket layer protects and encrypts information sent across the internet and in case of https encrypted information is sent between the browser and the server https makes it harder for hackers to break the connection and steal personal information such as credit card numbers debit card numbers addresses passwords etc now we will understand the difference between http and https in a tabular form first is http stands for hypertext transfer protocol on the other hand https stands for hypertext transfer protocol with secure 
HTTP is not secure and the data is not encrypted. Whereas in case of HTTPS, it is secure as the data is encrypted before it is sent across a network. HTTP URLs begin with HTTP colon to slash HTTPS URLs begin with HTTPS colon to slash HTTPS uses port number 80 by default HTTPS uses port number 443 by default there may be a question in the exam tell about the port number which is used in case of HTTP and HTTPS then our answer in case of HTTP will be 80 and in case of HTTPS our answer will be port number 443 HTTP operates at application layer whereas in case of HTTPS it operates at transport layer HTTP is used for many purposes such as a website article which is available to everyone whereas HTTPS websites like banking websites shopping websites such as Amazon Flipkart make use of HTTPS in the case of HTTP the data is vulnerable to hackers whereas in case of HTTPS it is designed to prevent hackers from assessing critical information thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course